From Vancouver, British Columbia, down the entire west coast of the United States of America to San Diego. In the four months leading up to it, from early November to February 27th when I left Vancouver, and in addition, the two months I was on the road, so a six month period, I raised $20,000 to send eight children living with serious and life threatening medical conditions to the Painted Turtle, a summer camp in Southern California that I've been volunteering and working at um, since 2015. This summer camp provides children living with these types of conditions, everything from children living with kidney disease who are on dialysis to children who have rare genetic disorders that leave them quadriplegic and nonverbal to children who have had to stop playing gymnastics or soccer or track and field because they have juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. We provide them a free summer camp experience. I've been so inspired by that, so inspired that it had allowed me to catapult myself down the coast of the United States of America, catapulting myself into a new experience because I have been an integral member of teams, thousands of hours of my life, thousands, an integral member of a team that develops an environment that fosters friendship among these children who don't get to meet other children on dialysis, who don't get to meet other children who can't speak. I've allowed to, I, I've been provided the opportunity to challenge a 12 year old boy to say, hey, look at every individual in this room and say something that you love about them. And when you provide children who can't speak the opportunity to dance, to fly on a zip line, you internalize that, you reflect upon that. As an individual who has complete control of my body, you're so hungry to do things, to kick your legs, to jump, whatever, whatever. So, how did I get so inspired? Who started this camp? What happened? What made me ride my bike the entire coast of the United States of America? Well, I'll tell you what, all of you know, frickin' Paul Newman's Newman's own, man. <laughs> So Paul Newman, back in 1980, was like, you know what, you know what, I gotta change the world, I gotta change the world right here. You know how I'm gonna do that? I know the value of summer camp, okay? I know the value of summer camp. I grew up going to summer camp, I know how amazing it is. I know you meet your lifelong friends at camp. I know that they allow you to maximize your life potential, and they allow you to see the greatness of you and your creativity. Your creativity. So he realized that these children who couldn't move weren't getting a summer camp experience. He said, we gotta figure this out. Well, here's Paul making vats of salad dressing in his basement, like, hey family, like, how do I fucking make this summer camp? And they're like, dad, look in front of you, man. Sell your dressing, bro. Today, today, he has so many products. I guarantee, I guarantee most of you did not know it says 100 profits to charity right up there, okay? Look at what we got, Curry's. We got dog treats, bro. Like, we have pizza. We got more pizza. All right, in addition, we have the salad dressing. He's wearing different hats. He's amazing. He's amazing. He's not even alive, and he's impacting me. He's living through me to give you this right now, through all of us. And what he did was he set up a summer camp in Connecticut. Now, right now, at this exact moment, we have a camp in Southern California, Washington, Colorado, Michigan, Ohio, upstate New York, the original one in Connecticut, North Carolina, and Florida. We are in five continents in 18 countries. And we provide children, children, all of us were children. All of us are going to have children. Maybe all of us, a lot of us, some of us do. Free experiences that they would not normally get to allow them to maximize their potential, just like all of us have. Just like all of us have. It's incredible. And this story, this story is about one inspiration. Inspiration that Paul had to make this camp. Inspiration that I had from these children. This story is about changing the world through building bridges of knowledge. And this story is about catapulting yourself into new experiences. I realized in 2016 that I was talking, okay, I have a minute. I was talking to my, my uh, director and I said, one day I'm gonna ride my bike uh, down the entire coast of California and raise $50,000. I need to be on a bike. Never ridden my bike more than 10 miles. I never raised money. I slept outside six nights my entire life before I left for this trip. People think, oh, you're some amazing cyclist, you're some amazing camper. No, I, I've seen children. I've seen children on dialysis. I've been here, I've been in this exact seat for five hours of my life playing games. I've seen children who are in chairs who meet other children. This 15 year old boy, what do 15 year olds want to do? They want to interact with the gender they're attracted to, but he can't do that. At camp, you meet amazing people just like yourself, and you get to love them through safe ways. I bring children who can't leave the ground in the air, and I take them down from their zip lines, and I see how amazing they are. I let them shake my head like this, okay? This is disgusting. In addition, we throw paint 
all over each other. They throw paint on me all over me. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's incredible. I have nine seconds. I rode my bike down the coast. I raised money. I did all these beautiful things and I was inspired by these children to do it. Anything that you want to do, anything that you want to do, catapult yourself into the experience because when you're trying those new things, when I'm trying those new things, I have new thoughts, new experiences. I meet new people in new ways and I have new vibes that I continue to live my day and that's the inspiration I have. That's it. I met Basset Hounds, and in addition, all I ask you, all I ask you, and ask myself, all of us have humans, all of us as humans, I apologize for going over, all of us as humans, who have full control of our bodies, full control of our minds, individuals on this planet don't have that. Continue to realize that on a moment-to-moment -moment basis through our entire lives, inspire ourselves and others will be inspired through our actions, and you, you, you can maximize your potential and inspire others to maximize theirs. Thank you.